friends, it's me, Stu, here for you, and I have a treat because today we are going to talk to an incredible panel of membership site owners who years ago had an idea of launching a membership, and they took action on that idea, and some it started you know, from humble beginnings. Uh, but what's amazing is to see what it has evolved to. And my goal and hope in this session today is to inspire the heck out of you to show that this can turn into a very viable business. In fact, you're going to hear from some who have multi-million dollar memberships in <clears throat> unique niches that, you know, many cases... Some of these, some of these I had never even heard of until, you know, we met. And this is one of the, I think, joys of the work that I get to do is I get introduced to all kinds of crazy markets. I, I've met some new ones this year. Like, I didn't even know that felting was a thing and, until uh, we had, um, my team pulled me into the office and they said, have you seen this membership? And I said, no. And they're like, she has over a thousand members. And I'm like, what? Teach you what? And it was felting. Like, who would have thought? Anyways. I'm always learning, and that's what I'm excited for you today is just to see what's possible because I am a firm believer in memberships and the impact that it can have on our business and in our lives, and I believe that you, every single business owner, should have some form of recurring revenue in your uh, business, and a membership is one of the most beautiful ways to be able to serve people at scale and to be able to create incredible predictability and stability in your business. So you're in for a treat. So with that, uh, I'm going to bring up our first guest. She's had a membership site for over 10 years. 10 years! I mean, you got to be doing something right if you have had a membership site around for that long. Let's bring her up first. It is the one and only Bonnie Christine. Bonnie, how the heck are you, buddy? I'm doing great, Stu. How are you? Uh, I'm doing wonderful, and I'm grateful that you are here. You've had a membership site for 10 years. Wow. Uh, but before we unpack it, let's just talk about who is it that you serve. I serve surface pattern designers and artists and illustrators. Okay. Um, I was uh, out for dinner last night, in fact, with uh, a new friend that, uh, well, I say new friend because I think you were introduced to him uh, um, first in December when we all got together. It was Jay Papazan. Yeah. And uh, we, we were talking, to, uh, we were chatting with Jay and we had a couple other people there. And Jay was like relaying to them about you. He's like, <laughs> she she's like a, a surface pattern designer. And they're like, what? And, and so Jay was explaining to them, because most people never even know what a surface pattern designer is. Like, talk to us. Yeah. What is that? Um, my favorite thing is to hear other people, like my husband or anyone, explain what it is to someone. It's great. Um, you know, this is so fun because I'll never forget the moment that I realized what it was. Because it's all around us. And it's this huge industry that just so many people don't know exist. So surface Surface design is a big, big industry where every piece of artwork that goes on any product ever belongs in this industry. So you think about rugs and uh, curtains and enamelware and ceramics and packaging and all the things. And then surface pattern design is a segment of that industry. And it's for products that require a seamless repeating pattern. So fabric, wallpaper, um, gift wrap, tape, all of those fun things as well. So it ends up being our usually our favorite part of the industry because it's so fun to see your work put into repetition. Well, it's amazing because you're a self-taught designer and you have created this incredible business teaching people uh, the skills of how to become a surface pattern designer, how to build a business around it, which is amazing. And we mentioned that you've had this membership site for 10 years. Talk to us about it, where it started. And then I want to contrast like where it is now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I started this membership in 2012 and really looking back on it, I called it a membership, but it really wasn't. It was like a paid newsletter because I didn't have um, a, a home. I didn't have a login or anything. It was just a newsletter. 
So what I did was I came up with this idea. I launched it in a blog post and I had a link to a PayPal recurring subscription button. That's all. And um, it was five bucks a month. And so that opening weekend, I got 200 members that joined me that that opening weekend. And Stu, that was $1,000 of recurring predictable revenue in my business, which was by far the most I'd ever had. And what a gift to a creative entrepreneur in particular is always looking for um, predictability, right? Like we have ups and downs and we never know. And so building in that predictability, like for the most part, I know we're going to have roughly this much was the biggest gift to me. It was the biggest turning point in my entire career. Wow. I can't uh, even imagine, you know, like, welcoming 200 members right out of the gate, $1,000 in recurring revenue. You must have been like bouncing off the walls. What did your husband say? You know, this was like, uh, my husband is so incredibly supportive. Okay. Um, so supportive of everything I've ever done. But I'm hearing so, a bot coming. <laughs> but similarly, it's like, okay, you do that. I'm going to work, you know, like, um, you're going to be a fabric designer or whatever. And this was the first time that his, his ears perked up, you know, it, this was the first time because for, for many years. So we were, we were making like, no, we were around like $30,000 a year. And I remember the membership, literally I, I did everything wrong, Stu. So I had an open membership. I had people trickle in, but on any given day of the month, I knew I would get at least about $15. And oftentimes that meant that we could eat dinner. Oftentimes that meant that I had $15 to go to the grocery store with. And so just that trickle, like waking up to sales, even if it's 15 or 20 bucks was revolutionary. Okay, so that's where it started. But we mentioned you've had this for 10 years. So um, <laughs> would it be fair to say that the membership has changed a little bit over that period of time? It's changed a little bit. It's changed a little bit. So uh, the biggest change came in 2019 when I took the membership experience. And uh, we didn't know each other. We met after that, the same year, but after that. And the your course had been on my mind for, I think, two years. I had seen the launch and knew I should. Uh, but I was falling out of love with the membership. I was... Um, it felt it felt hard because before 2019, I was on the peak and valley model, right? So my revenue, it did climb. In fact, I believe it got up to, I think I got it up to about $20,000 a month on my own in about eight years. And so, okay, like it's worth it, but it still was very much peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys. And so I decided to take TME and just realized that even though I had been chugging along at this thing for seven or eight years on my own and had gotten it to a great place, there was so much that I was doing incorrectly. And so I made a million changes. I often say like in 2019, the group really has whiplash because I just came out of the gate hot, like we're doing everything different now. And so one of the biggest things was that I didn't have a measuring stick for people to identify where they were, where they were going, all of these things. So that as the turning point, if we pull up my graph, it literally goes peak valley and then it comes into the stair step model. And the stair stop began in April 2019. So today the membership does around 90,000 a month. Uh, which takes it to, yeah, the the seven figure mark for the membership alone in my business. And still to this day, it is the most predictable uh, income that we have in the business. Everything runs on the membership, which means that we have so much freedom to play with other ideas. And there's not so much pressure on the other idea because the membership is what like really fuels our, you know, ongoing business expenses and team and all of that. It's uh, it's pretty incredible uh, for people to hear where it started five bucks a month <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, more of like a newsletter evolving over that period of time to where you've gotten it to $20,000 a month, which is a pretty amazing business in and of itself. Yeah. But then realizing like, 
with a few changes, you can really take this to another level. And now at $90,000 a month, absolutely unbelievable. Again, in surface pattern design market, which is incredible. What yeah. advice would you give for somebody who is thinking about two things? One, starting a membership and two, joining us for the membership experience. Yeah. Okay. So if you're thinking about a membership, again, the biggest gift you can give yourself is predictability and the recurringness of it. It's also a gift to the people that you serve because they're there for it. They want you recurring in their life. And so I think that maybe more than ever, we just very much want to have it all figured out before we start. We want to have the perfect, uh, you know, 12 months, of ideas scheduled out and, and the perfect platform and the perfect email list and all this stuff. And I just beg of you to just get started anyways, because I'm a living testament of your ability to pivot and pivot and pivot and pivot. You can clarify things as you go. You can clarify your messaging. You can upgrade or change your platform. You can figure all of that out. But like, what would it look like for you to just in the next few weeks, get going with it already. Um, and then, yeah, like the biggest thing I would say about taking TME is what, what did I miss out on those two years that I didn't say yes? You know, it was typical stuff, Stu. It was like, well, I don't feel like I have the money right now, or I don't feel like I have the time right now. And kind of like, yeah, yeah. Well, what did I waste in those two years? Where would I be? Where would it be today if I had even gotten another two year head start on it? Um, so that's kind of the, the thing. And Stu, I just, this course is, I, I talk about your course, like I don't talk about anybody else's course, except for my own. And it is just the best course I've ever taken. It's also the only course that I've ever completed, like literally everything checked off the entire time. And it's the only course that I go back and retake time and time and time and time again. It is just phenomenal. And so I stand and just confidently say it is absolutely worth your, your money and your time. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you, Bonnie. Uh, thanks for sharing. As we uh, look to wrap up. I've got a couple, uh, or I got one last question for you. But before we get to that, where can people go to connect with you? Oh, I'm Bonnie Christine everywhere there is. Yeah, it, she's the <laughs> Bonnie Christine. Uh, you got to put the, you know, the, and you'll definitely find her for sure. Uh, um, amazing. Okay, and so last uh, last question for you is for that person who is sitting on the fence, thinking about their membership idea, and. Mm -hmm. You know, saying to themselves, I don't know if I'm, I've got to wait until I've got a few things lined up first. I mean, you kind of spoke to this in just like getting going and doing it messy, but I'm, mm -hmm. I'm curious, like you're sitting down for coffee and you could see they've got this amazing idea. Uh, what do you say to them? Well, this is really how, how I did this. And I felt like, number one, we can always talk ourselves out of, teaching or being a leader because there's other people doing it, other people ahead of us, other people better than us. And so just a long time ago, I got really comfortable with the fact that like none of that matters because what we're doing is turning around and helping the person just one step behind us. And there are always people steps behind us. There will always, always be people steps ahead of us. So you just have to kind of get confident in where you're at and be willing to turn around and help the person who you can help. And so with that in mind, I sat down and had, I call it like a vision storming session, a heart storming session where I wrote down everything that I felt like was in my wheelhouse that I felt like someone would be willing to pay for. And again, it was just a little bit at the beginning. Um, it was five bucks. And then over the years, it's changed, right? It went to 10 and 15. Today, we're at 47. Um, but people get kind of locked in as we go. So we've got people all over the place. And um, that was all it took was what, what knowledge, what skills, what things do I have that would be worth at least a little bit to someone else. And that idea was just where it sparked and went on and on. And so you absolutely have an idea. You absolutely have things. You absolutely have information. Um, you have it. And that's mm -hmm. what someone is really looking for you to be their guiding light. Like, like kind of clear the fog, if you will, part 
part the waters, part the way for them and reach through all the fog and just pull them through a very um, streamlined process. Like that is in and of itself something people will love to pay for. Well, I appreciate you speaking to that because I know that there are a lot of people who doubt themselves and their ability. Uh, I'm not an expert. I don't know if you know I have anything to offer. And what I was sharing with people this week is like, look, if you can answer yes to any one of these questions, like, you know, can you help solve a problem? If yes, green light, move forward. Can you teach a skill? If yes, green light, move forward. Or can you make things easier for people? If yes, green light, move forward. And so that's exactly what you're saying. And I appreciate you, you know, speaking to that. Well, thank you so much, Bonnie. Congratulations on your incredible success. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that we love and appreciate you, but uh, thank you for your time here today. Bye. All right. Pretty amazing, right? Started with a $5 a month membership. Now it's up uh, into, you know, I think she said $47 a month, but the membership has grown considerably. It is now a multi-million dollar a year membership in the surface pattern niche. But one of the things that I think is really important is to realize that you may be hesitating because you want to wait. You want to wait till everything's lined up. You want to wait until everything's perfect. But to Bonnie's point, like you just got to get going because that membership is going to evolve over time. And that's a big reason why uh, we've got our panel of guests here today to just talk about what that evolution looks like. So the next guest I'm going to bring up, um, she used to paint surfboards. That was like, that was her art and uh, it was burning her out like crazy. Uh, but now she's got a totally different business. It's still very creative. But my goodness, has it grown over the years. Uh, that is the one and only Heidi Easley. Heidi, how the heck are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you, Stu? Good. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I was teasing that you used to paint surfboards, but that was like your business back in the day, right? Yeah, so I was a full-time teacher. We went bankrupt, lost everything. And then I started using Art to Heal, painting surfboards. And um, I remember taking them to the school where I taught at, 850 kids, and they would see them and they would just beg me, Miss Easley, put my name on it, put my name on it. Can you paint me one? And I was like, no, no, this is just for fun. Like, leave me alone. <laughs> and then um, after about the 150th kid said, hey, can you paint me a surfboard? I thought, hey, maybe I can get myself out of this financial turmoil. So that's where it all started. Well, uh, that's where it started, but let's talk about like your membership now, because you've really found your niche and you have been consistently growing this membership. You've hit some big milestones over the years. I remember the early days of your membership celebrating, you know, those, uh, early milestones and goals that you had then, which, you know, pale in comparison now to where you are. So let's <laughs> kind of talk about, you know, uh, who is it that you serve inside of your membership now? So I teach people how to make money teaching paint parties. So it's artists and crafters. Okay. Now, if somebody's not heard of paint parties, unpack that for us. What is that? So you basically go to a place and you we walk you through step by step how to paint a painting within two hours. So it's not a hardcore art lesson. It's like a fun just sit down, have a glass of wine, and we walk you through it. So I just did one last night. And um, as soon as I got there, my husband had a drink for me, ready to go. <laughs> and my daughter had set it up because I was running late from an appointment. And so I got there and I was like, you know, it's, it's just, it's fun. Like I show up and I still, to this day, even though I have the membership, which is full time, but I still, to this day, teach paint parties because I love it so much. Yeah. And it's like, uh, I hadn't really heard of it until... Uh, I met you, but it's just like you get a bunch of friends together and then you bring Heidi in and Heidi walks you through, you know, doing a painting and everybody has a good time. And this is like a whole business, right? Yes, it's awesome. And what's really cool about it is um, I basically created the membership for what I needed. So me working full time, I was trying to come up with new designs and new paintings that would be on trend because that's a lot of the time people want a really cute painting, you know, if they're going to sign up. And so I would like work all week trying to get everything done, you know, for my teacher stuff. And then on the weekends, I would try to come up with designs and they wouldn't work or I'd mess up. And so basically 
paint party headquarters is the creation of what I need. And I literally go to my own membership when I have my paint parties to grab the resources. So it's a, it's pretty awesome. I love it. <laughs> well, okay. So let's talk about this. You're helping other artists who want to, you know, grow their paint party business mm -hmm. back in the day, uh, in 2018, you came through, uh, what was then tribe. Now it's the membership experience. Yeah. And you did your founding member launch. Do you remember how many members you welcomed during that? Of course, 58. 58 founding members. And at what price? And um, we were at 27 a month. Okay. So uh, let me just do the math. Uh, so that's 58 times 27. So girl, that's 1500 bucks a month right out of the gate. <laughs> it was crazy. It was, it was really crazy. Cause we, you know, I was kind of like, I had already done a boot camp. I'd been learning online business. And so I'd done a boot camp and it got to a point where I had these 80 something people and I was teaching them how to do a paint party business. And it was like a three month boot camp or something. And this was, you know, way back in the day. And then I remember just being like, I got on a live and I was like, okay, do you die? Do I die? Like, how does this relationship end? Because I mean, by then I was making no money and I was still answering questions. And then I found you through um, a friend, Patty Palmer. And so I was like, oh my gosh, okay, got to do this. And then it, yeah, started with 58 and now we have um, a lot more. <laughs> well, you do have a lot more because in that first year, I I, one of my favorite things was getting, you know, direct messages from you with updates of new milestones that you had hit. And I remember you had a big milestone of like getting to like 500 members. Like that was like, you know, a big milestone for you. And then you blasted through that. And then it was like, okay, a thousand. That's like, I mean, that's like your, and then you blasted through that. And then it was 2000 and you blasted through that and you just kept growing and growing and growing. And I think that that's a, a, an important thing for people to realize is that like you can continue to grow this thing uh, year over year over year. So talk to us a little bit about this journey that you've been on. What have you learned <laughs> in this journey of growing this membership to thousands and thousands of members. Oh my gosh. So we are currently at 3101. I checked before I got on here so I could tell you accurate numbers. Um, so going from 58 to 3100 members has obviously taken a lot of self growth, a lot of, a lot of um, learning how to, to, I mean, cause you're, you know, you're managing not only your membership, but you're managing people. And so I think one of the things that I've always tried to do from the beginning is, you know, we go into entrepreneurship because we don't like a boss, right? We want to be on our own and do our own thing. But I've always like tried to stay true to every single one of my members are my boss. And so I look at it as I wake up every day for those 3,100 people to make sure they have what they need to make money to, you know, cause if they're making money, then I'm making money. So I can't be successful if I'm not giving them something that's going to help them. So I really take it serious. Um, and it's just been crazy. So yeah, there's been a lot of milestones. Um, this past year was a huge growth year. Um, but yeah, it's it's been crazy, Stu. It's been, and, I, and I have you to thank for it, by the way. Thank you so much. You've, you've changed my family's life and especially my daughter's life, which I'm so grateful for. Oh, buddy, I appreciate that. Thank you for that. Um, Oh, see, I had a question all lined up and, uh, you know, <laughs> I, but, but, you know, like, um, when we talk about a membership, one of the things that you just mentioned there is how deeply you care for your members. And mm -hmm. one of the things that I believe has, you know, greatly contributed to your success with membership is that you do deeply care about your members and you care about their results. And as a res uh, and because of that, you have this incredible relationship. Like I, I always see the pictures of you with your members and you're all like in like, you know, Dolly Parton outfits and, you know, <laughs> you know, doing all crazy events. Talk to me about like creating that community. You're one of the best at doing it. Uh, what are some tips that you would give people when it comes to building those relationships within a membership? Okay, so I brought pictures because I knew we had to talk about this. But here are two of my members that were at. So this is popcorn. We had a circus theme. I mean, look at how amazing that is, right? And then I just have to show this because I think it's epic. But I got to ride a horse. With <laughs> like, I mean, 
mean, we threw a whole circus this past year and we're actually the next event we're doing is on a cruise to the Bahamas. There's over 400 people already signed up out of our 3000 <laughs> members. And so what I have really embraced is I my whole family, like me, my husband, my daughter, we have more costumes than clothes. Like we love being goofy. We're artists. You know, we just we love that. And so what I have found out about my group especially is they're like me, you know, and we love to like have fun. And so we call it the painted prom. We get fully dressed up. And so we have a theme every year and it's part of our get together. And this past, um, oh, Jamie's on here. Yes. The painted prom. It was, it was magical. Like this last one we did, I feel like was our best one yet. And I think what's so cool about it is my whole hope is because when I first started doing my business, everything was so, so hard. Like I worked and I missed so much stuff of Pixie, my daughter. I missed so much of her stuff because I had to work. I had to go chase the dollar. I had, you know, I was just grinding, you know, just as much as I could. And now I still work hard. I'm like, I still, I mean, I'm one of those people like I'll outwork anybody. I'm still that person, but now I make sure to schedule the stuff that's important. And so what I try to do is tell my members like, okay, you can work hard and we're going to kick butt, take names, but you also need to make sure you have fun. And so that's really a big part of my mission is like, have fun while you're working, make sure you're having, you know, and, and I want people to not take things so seriously. So if you want to, you know, dress up as a, a popcorn when we're doing a circus theme, like do it, like we're going to embrace you and love you and we're going to have so much fun doing it. So I think everybody gets so excited. We have a meeting coming up uh, next week about the cruise and everybody's already like, what's the theme? And I'm like, I'm not telling yet. Nobody create anything yet. Like we got to get it ready. <laughs> so well, it's been absolutely magical watching you really step into the your membership, embrace the culture and the growth of it. And um, what would you say to somebody who is A, thinking about a membership and B, thinking about joining us for the membership experience to get help with that membership? And I would say, don't, don't like, don't miss out because, and I also want to say, treat it like a college course. Like when you sign up for this, you're going to make, you know, a lot of connections. You're going to have a lot of um, stuff coming at you, but you want to treat it like a college course. I mean, when I took it, my husband was not on board and now, oh my gosh, he's so on board. <laughs> but you know, at first he was like, I just don't know about this. You know, why do you want to take this so bad? And I was like, this is the next step. This is where I need to be. This is what I need to learn. And I, because, you know, of the, the investment I made, I wanted to make sure I did not do something that would like, you know, I, I didn't want to fail. And of course, mm -hmm. there's been many failures over the past six years throughout this, but the main thing is just getting back up, trying again. And then, um, really treating it like it's a college course, like, you know, making sure I go through every single thing and take action. And, and I think too, making sure you um, take action fast, you know, you can read or learn everything Stu's telling you, but if you don't actually put it into place, it's not going to matter. And I think that's one of the big differences between the people who have successful memberships versus the ones who don't is they say they're doing everything, but they're really not taking action. And so I don't know. I just think it's important to, you well, and I appreciate you sharing that. I um, I want to ask you uh, where people can go to connect with you. And then I got one more question after that. Uh, but where is the best place that people can uh, find more and connect with you? And so you can go to Texas Art and Soul, S-O-U-L, and then on Instagram with the underscore. Amazing. Okay, my final question for you is you talked about sometimes in this journey, you it's not all rainbows and unicorns and i remember a moment when you were contemplating going back to teaching and i know that there's people watching and listening who you know have those moments of doubt themselves so what would you say to them because you persevered through that and uh you persevered through that doubt you persevered through that moment and now i mean it's incredible to see that you have a membership with 3,101 members. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't miss that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so what would you say to that person who maybe is in a moment of doubt uh, about their ability to be able to do this? Yeah, so um, that moment was me like 
crying as I was filling out teacher applications for Fort Worth ISD. And there's nothing wrong with being a teacher. I was a teacher for 10 years. However, I just, I felt like this isn't working anymore. And this is after I had like a hundred and something members. So I was already in the membership game and I was still just like, what is going on? And so as I'm tears like down my face, as I am typing out the application, my husband gets home from work and he comes into my office and he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I can't do this anymore. I, I just can't. And, um, and he's like, you cannot stop. He's like, you have been doing this and he's been, you know, he sees, you know, all the stuff that nobody sees, you know, that's not posted on social. He saw all of that work and all of that energy I was putting into it. And he's like, you can't, you can't stop. And I said, well, let's get out poster boards. I'm a poster board girl. Like if it goes on a poster board, it is <laughs> happening. And so I got out a poster board. We started, we just, you know, decided for the next few months, we would write down every single cent we spent. And so we did. I wrote it down on a poster board. He put it on a spreadsheet. And so I just had to see it. So if we bought coffee, it was on there. And what happened was we realized at that time with my membership, with my paint parties, with my part time teaching, I was making way more money than I would have if I would have quit and gone back to full time teaching. So once I saw that, I was like, OK, game on. And then from there, I think, you know, just him believing in me and realizing like it's going to it's going to be OK. Let's get this under control. It's been really powerful. And now I always go back to that method. So anytime I need a new goal, I get out the poster board and I make it happen. Well, I appreciate you uh, taking us back to that moment, Heidi, because, you know, I think we can all relate, you know, to those moments when we do want to pack it in, when we may be feeling, you know, that self-doubt and I don't know if I could do this. But to think that at, you were at 100 members then and now you've 30 times that you know, <laughs> since is weird. pretty ridiculous. And so uh, I'm just really, you know, uh, excited for you, proud of you. And it's been uh, beautiful to watch this journey. So thank you so much for coming and sharing. Oh, thanks for having me, Stu. Thanks for everything you've done. Yeah, appreciate you. Thanks, Heidi. Um, pretty amazing, right? Pretty amazing. We've got more guests coming uh, here in just a minute. But here's what's incredible about these stories is that the entrepreneurial journey is, it is up and down. There are going to be moments when you're flying high. There's going to be moments when you're frustrated and, you know, you don't know which direction to take next. But that's one of the reasons why I want to encourage you to come join us for the membership experience. Because if you have been thinking about a membership site at all, then one of the absolute best things that you can do is come join us for the membership experience. And uh, you can go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. You'll see the link there on the screen. And that'll take you to all the details of the program. And what's beautiful is the people that you're seeing here who have grown these multi-million dollar year memberships have all started their memberships after coming through the program. And this is where I'm pouring my literally decades of experience, showing you exactly step-by-step step how to launch, grow, and scale a membership. And so even if your idea is fuzzy, your idea doesn't have to be crystal clear to be able to come into the program. Like that's the whole point of the program is to help you get that clarity, to help you figure out what to do, how to do it, and to be able to build a successful membership business. So uh, come join us, membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. Okay. I'm going to bring up Mr. Ray next. So Ray, hang tight. There he is. Ray, how the oh heck gosh. are you, buddy? Good. Stu, thanks. I might have to adjust the camera on my end. My head looks a lot bigger than yours in here. <laughs> here you look you look great, buddy. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, before we dive into talking about your membership, let's just talk about who is it that you serve in your market? So I'm a, I kind of started out as a helping authors. And I, I originally thought I was going to be a ghostwriter and I would help entrepreneurs write their books. And then I turned into a launcher and then I turned into the summit guy for authors. And then, uh, and now I'm a, the tech guy for authors. So <laughs> that whole zigzagging of entrepreneurship, that's, I'm the living proof of that. Got it. Okay. So you're helping authors with all things tech. Is that what your membership uh, helps people with? 
Yeah. So about a year ago, and I, so I'm new to this. It, I'm where everybody's watching this. I was where you are a year ago. Let's just put it this way. Uh, talking to somebody, and by the way, I didn't like it. So I'm kind of the click funnels for authors guy. It's not click funnels, but it's a funnel software. It's not my software. I just white labeled it. And I just started saying, hey, I got the software for authors and things took off from there. And so it was, it's one of those where, you, you know, if you don't know what you're doing or you don't have your own thing, you can still uh, make a membership out of it. So amazing. Okay. So let's talk about uh, this membership. You are clear about who you're serving authors. You're clear about what you're helping them with all uh, the, the, the tech uh, you, how do you go from that to the membership? Talk to me. I had, you know, so I had a, an audience of authors. Um, I had been doing the, a lot of done for you summits and things since like 2020 till about last, till last year. And so because I branded myself a little bit, I was just, you know, just like, Hey, I just pivoted and now I'm helping you with this. And so I just started, I had two people, um, in like a, almost like a free coaching weekly coaching thing from other things they had bought. And I would just kept continuing it. And so that, I think that's a point too. Most of us are doing something for free right now that we should be doing in a membership. Mm -hmm. And that's where, where I was. And so I went to those, I found this software. I didn't even know how to use it yet. And I rebranded it. And in eight days I said, uh, Hey, you two want to be the first ones in this founding members thing, blah, blah, blah. We're going to keep, we'll keep doing these calls as founding members of this software and you're going to have the software. You can save all this money, all that kind of stuff. And uh, they were in, and I could tell you that that first sale came in February 28th last year. I've got all these dates in my head and that felt better. I, you know, I've sold $15,000 done for you summits in the past. That felt better than those because I knew he's going to pay next month. And so, you know, Robert, my first founding member, I call him PF one for pub funnels one. <laughs> and uh give them nicknames and so i did that and i got it i i just went and i was nervous as heck but i just kind of said hey look i don't even know how to use it yet but let's get you in get you started i got a third person that was working with some high ticket stuff on i said we need you in this software so i had three by the end of march but it was just like oh my god this really can work and we're mm -hmm. at like 99 a month um then the timing couldn't have been more perfect because you were doing your launch last year. I'm like, I got to watch the, the, you know, I watch to me, it's just like more training and re re uh, emphasizing everything in the course when I watch you do the workshops and so forth. And the third workshop, it was, it was, I think, I think it was a Wednesday or Thursday. It was like the 27th of April. You said, Hey, stick around for the secret segment. And the, the whole thing was about the closed enrollment. And right, right then I was going to launch that weekend, just an email launch founding members. And I said, I, I just don't know how this is going to work. And when you said that it clicked. And so I sent an email to my list. I said, look, we got this software. It's for authors. It's funnel software. It's email, all this kind of stuff. And, uh, we are, so <laughs> we're sitting in, we did like 40 sales over the weekend and I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is a business. And so <laughs> then I'm like, okay, we got this down. And then I just started doing webinars uh, once a month, I get partners. And now I just, all I do is host summits for authors. Then we host a webinar talking about how we can help with the software. And I get to just tinker and that, which used to make me feel guilty when we're doing the whole kind of launch, nothing, launch, nothing. If I was tinkering, I felt guilty that I wasn't out there selling. Mm. And now I can service those people better. And the other point I'll make is like somebody like Robert, there was a couple of people like this. They had wanted to do high ticket things with me, but they, they, you know, it just wasn't in their budget. When I gave them something, they, they wanted to continue being in my audience or, you know, working with me. So when I gave them something that was in their price range, they're there. So there's people mm -hmm. around that, that, uh, you know, we're, are, they're waiting for you to give them the right opportunity to work with you. So. Well, um, I know people are, uh, doing the math. Ray, and they're like, wait a minute, a uh, hundred bucks a month, 40 people, that's $4,000 a month now in recurring revenue from a single promotion. And that is, uh, begins to become very exciting and interesting 
And I want to talk to you now just real quick about your journey since. So this was one year ago. So give people insight. Like, what has that experience been like, uh, you know, running a recurring revenue business during the last 12 months? Uh, it's 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 the most fun I ever had. I get to do what I love because I like to tinker with stuff. And I'm built. So I go out and I'll build templates for them and funnels and things like that. In fact, last night, I'm like, I need a membership funnel in here because there's people that are going to do memberships. Well, I can build that based on Stu's teachings and they have a template for that. I have a direct sales uh, for ordering form, so forth. But I, so I get to play with that. I get to, like you say, when you're in closed enrollment, love on my customers. So we do like a weekly tech call. And it's just, they jump on and say, I can't do this. And I jump in their account and show everybody how to do it. And we get stuff done and it just makes everything m more fun. And I can, I can get up in the morning and I can read some Napoleon Hill if I want. And I'm not stressed about, I got to be doing something. I got to be building something or an offer or to launch. And now it's just, no, I get to, I get to launch the same offer. Um, and I will say this, and maybe this doesn't happen to you, but cause you're, you know, the God of memberships, the Wayne Gretzky, the King of the great one. I think I called you one time, long time ago. And but for me, I've got a, I've got another one where it's like a course only, so content only. I built it for my pub funnels people, but with the intention later, I'm going to just release it as a course only program at 47 a month, and I'm doing that either today or tomorrow. The founding members launch. I'm still nervous as heck, hmm. and I'm not worried about like the income. So like, what if I fail? Well, that's how we we still feel that way doesn't matter where you are. It's like, well, what if this doesn't work? Okay. It doesn't work. Nobody knows it doesn't work if, if it doesn't, but I, you know, I think we'll be fine, but we're, we're up to, uh, 284 members right now. Wow. Uh, we hit that, that, I mean, that whole closed enrollment, that was the keystone for me because then I just started doing, Hey, we're doing a closed enrollment. And I would offer things like bonuses, like we'll put you on a best selling book. Uh, we did that for a while. Um, and then uh, another cool thing happened, kind of off topic, but we're driving home from, so that weekend where we did the 40 sales, we're, we were at a concert on Sunday, closing cart Sunday night. So I just did a four day window, said you can get in. That's kind of, but that closed window helped close all those. I probably would have got two if it was open at most, but because of closing, it was just like my son and I are at my daughter and wife's choral concert. And in between songs, I'm picking up my phone and I'm like, and it was getting these emails, sale, sale, sale. I'm like, oh my gosh. So we're driving home. My wife had to stick around, but the kids are in the car and they both homeschool. And my daughter's like, is there a homeschool for college? And I said, well, you can do whatever you want. And my son's like, I'm not going to college. I want to own a software company. And I'm like, <laughs> this is a dream come true. They're seeing this happen. So we installed, I bought an old ship's bell off of Amazon and we ring the bell every time we get a subscription sale in the house and the house cheers no matter where they are. And it's just made it like a, a family affair. And so that's, you know, real it's important. It's beautiful. Yeah. Well, Ray, uh, thank you for coming and sharing. Where can people go to connect with you? Sure. You can go to my site, just go to rayb.me and uh, you can jump on my email list and then you can connect me with me from there, reply to any email. and. Amazing. Love to talk to you. Dude, congratulations, man. <laughs> like, I know people are doing the calculations, 280 plus members, 100 bucks a month. That's a significant uh, revenue stream coming in that you've created for yourself uh, and your family in during the last 12 months. Uh, it just shows what's possible and how quickly it can really happen. So kudos to you, buddy. Uh, thank you for coming and sharing. Thanks, Stu. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Um, pretty... Amazing. Here's Ray. One year ago, no membership. Fast forward to today, a membership with hundreds of members, over 280 plus members, 100 bucks a month. That's a significant business right out of the gates. Speaking of which, um, I've got two more guests. Uh, I know both of these guests very well. I'm debating uh, which guests to bring up first. Oh, I'm seeing, okay, I'm seeing one of them do a happy dance. So maybe we go the other way. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, before I get to the guests, what I want to do though, is I want to emphasize, listen, you can do this. You can start your membership. I want to show you how. This is where my area of expertise is. I have been helping people just like you launch, grow, and scale highly profitable 
memberships. I've been doing it since 2008. You know, uh, Ray called me the Wayne Gretzky, and I, I take that with great pride because our office is actually in the uh, Wayne Gretzky's hometown. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take that. But I, the fact of the matter is I've been doing this for a long time. Uh, my team was joking with me because somebody called me the membership grandfather. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm not there yet. And they're like, no, no, no. Not like, Stu, like you yourself have grandkids. They're like, you know, you taught somebody who then taught their students and their students have then launched memberships. Therefore, you're like in the in the membership family tree, you're like the grandfather. I'm like, oh, okay. So I've just been doing this for a long time. So I can help you do it too. And we've helped people in all kinds of markets. And I want to show you how it's possible. You don't have to have a gigantic audience of tens of thousands or even thousands. A couple hundred is all you need to be able to get going. And I want to show you how to start and how to grow it, not just launch it for one time, but to grow it consistently over time. And that's why I am super grateful to have our guests here today. And I want to encourage you, come join where they started, membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. The one thing I will say is that registration does close tomorrow night at midnight. That's important because if you look at history, we've only ever run this program one time a year. Now, I have no idea what will happen, so I will never make any guarantees. But what I will say, if you look at history, we've only ever run this one time a year, and this is that time. Come join us. Okay, our next guest is the one and only Miss Sarah Williams. Sarah, how the heck are you, buddy? I was rooting for me. I was like, pick me, pick me. And I want to say that maybe you're like the godfather, not the grandfather. <laughs> I I like Godfather better. Thank you for that. Yes, uh, that, that's that's what we call marketing copy. Thanks, uh, Sarah. Okay, you. so uh, you've had an incredible journey since I have known you going back now six years. Yeah. And you have not one, but two uh, absolutely phenomenal memberships. Crazy um, memberships, yes. Crazy memberships. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, let's just unpack them. Okay, so let's go back in time. Uh, we'll talk about your first membership. We'll talk about how it led to the second membership, but who do you serve in your market? I, well, I serve two different markets. So in the first market that we're going to talk about, I serve women typically in the South that love a good monogram. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, and they I, love a good monogram. I, I grabbed a box real quick so I could, they, if they don't know what a monogram is, it's those special initials that us women in the South love to put on all of our things. <laughs> okay. This is where, see, this is where I get educated because um, Sarah brings me up to speed on, you know, uh, the South, Southern customs, Southern, you know, uh, ways of life. Okay. So um, you didn't always have a subscription box though. So let's go back. Where, you what know, was all your the way back. before that? 11 years ago. Uh, started my business. Um, also, I'm going to say that I was 35 when I started my business. You don't have to start when you're super young. I still feel like 35 is really young, but um, you don't have to have it figured out like when you go to college and when you're in your 20s. You can figure it out as you grow up. It's totally fine. <laughs> but I started my business and it started with kind of like Heidi, I was teaching some paint parties and that's what I did first in my business. That really turned into me being per people's personal Pinterest board. Okay. Like they were like, here's this cool project I found. Can you make it for me? I'm like, sure. Anything for 40 bucks. Like I was like, whatever I can do for 40 bucks, I'm going to make it for you. And that turned into monogramming. Um, it was at the time where Yeti was really popular. You know, the drinks that we like to drink It's Stanley yeah. now, but it was Yeti back in the day. And we only had silver. Like there was no colored anything at that point. So this is how old this is, but people wanted their initials on it because everybody's Yeti was silver and they would get mixed up. And so I started cutting monograms out of vinyl. I started cutting monograms out of wood and making home decor. So this is how the monogram started. And then I opened a little shop about 18 months into this. Um, it was 600 square feet. I called it my broom closet, um, but it was just a place to get all this crap out of my house that I was painting and working on every day, the stuff I was making. That turned into a retail location. I had no idea that people would come shop there. Like, like, are you open? I'm like, well, yeah, you need something. You know? And so it turned into, I got a checkout stand. Like I was totally legit at this point. 
My first Christmas was incredible. I had a line wrapped around my building of people that wanted to shop and get things personalized. And that was really it for me. I was like, oh, this is a thing. I was feeling a niche in my town that there wasn't before. People couldn't go places and get things personalized. And so um, after the new year, I opened a 4,000 square feet retail location full of apparel and gifts and personalized things and home decor and all the great gifty things that you love. And it was a great, great shop. And I started my, I decided I wanted to start a subscription box after I opened the new store. I've been watching this large company. And at that time, this was like 2016, 17, you didn't really see a lot of subscription boxes. It was only like the big name companies. And I, and I saw this company doing a monogram subscription box and they weren't doing it very well, Stu. And I was like, oh, I could do this and I could do this so much better. And, um, but I didn't know how to make it work. I didn't have resources to help me figure out how to start a subscription box. So I put it on the back burner and then another year came by and I just kept, this feeling kept nagging at me. You need to start a subscription box. And so I decided I'm gonna figure it out. And so I went through figuring out everything I needed. I hadn't even sold anything online. I was a retail brick and mortar location. I wasn't shipping stuff. I didn't have customers that lived outside of my tri-state area. Like I was just a retail gift shop. And so I had to figure it all out. And I did one piece at a time. I started to figure out, I launched my subscription box and I got 44 subscribers and you would have thought I got 4,400 subscribers. I was <laughs> excited, but it was 44 people that gave me their credit card and said, charge me every month. I don't know what's in it. Cause it was a mystery box. I don't know what's in it, but go ahead and charge me every month. I trust you. And that was the beginning for me. And I had put all the math on paper. And for me, it was a hundred subscribers. If I could get to 100 subscribers, it meant that my rent was paid at my retail location and my one employee's paycheck was paid. That's all I had was one employee at that time. And so I knew if I could just stabilize this product-based business, then everything I made in the shop would be on top of that. And I wouldn't mm -hmm. have kind of this feast and famine every day like, hope I have traffic today. I hope somebody comes in and shops today. I hope I sell some things today. Um, what am I going to, am I going to have to mark something down today to make some sales? Like that is what it's like for a product seller. Like you have to show up and sell. And I wasn't even online. So I had to rely on like the haircut place next door for a woman to walk by and be interested in walking to my shop. Right. So I, it really stabilized my business. I started with 44. By month three, I had 100 subscribers. I thought that was my huge, audacious goal. Like, it was going to take me a year to get there, is what I thought. By month three, I'd hit 100 subscribers. And it just clicked with me, like, this is what I need. Because that first month when those charges charged again, I'm like, I'm looking at my phone, kind of like Ray was saying. I was like, I didn't have to show up and sell anything today. It's already sold. Mm. And that compounded every month. I was growing by 25, 50 subscribers every month for almost a year. And, um, and that's how I started my subscription box. It's an incredible story. And I think there's a lot of people, whether they are, have a brick and mortar store or not can relate to that. I don't know where the sales are going to come from yeah. next month. And that feeling of security of knowing that at the beginning of every month, you have customers who have already said they want, you know, to pay you that particular month. It's like you start the month with the momentum from the previous month. So this is where you began. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about where that subscription box, which is one of your memberships, where is that now? Um, we have thousands of monthly subscribers. I have a warehouse now because we can't possibly fulfill out of that retail location anymore. Um, in 2020, when I had to shut my retail location down due to the pandemic, um, we moved into a warehouse where we ship and fulfill all over the country every single day. Thousands of women. They're not just from the South. People up North, they love monograms too. <laughs> East Coast, West Coast, everywhere. Um, and so we get to serve our ladies at the highest level. And I have the monogram box, which is what I showed you. I also have a t-shirt club where I design a graphic tee 
um, every single month. And that's where my creativity comes in. I get to curate the designs and the products for the boxes. Um, so although I'm not painting anymore, I still get to use my creativity in my business. And I get to work with amazing designers um, like the company Kate Spade um, to help manufacture my products, which is a huge, it's a huge honor. Um, and so that's, that's part of the subscription box story. It's incredible. And uh, watching that journey uh, evolve was super inspiring. But along the way, you started to get a lot of questions. Yeah. Because so people started to see that progress. And then they're like, hey, how do I do that as well? Talk yeah, to us about it, it grew fast, Stu. And people could see, like, I would regularly just do video or posts of the stacks of the turquoise boxes that I had laying around. And every month they were getting bigger and bigger and people were watching. And I went from a couple hundred subscribers to a thousand subscribers really quickly. And then that doubled and then that tripled. And so um, people are like, can I pick your brain? Can I ask you about packaging? Hey, how do you source product overseas? Hey, can you help me with an idea that I might have? How do I launch this thing? I already have an audience. How do I do this? And so I'm just freely giving because I have all this extra time on my hands, giving all this advice out because that's the, that's the person I am. I'm a person that if I have information, I'm going to share it with you, right? So I'm like answering them and I'm just like, I don't have time. Like I got all these subscribers. I got all this going on. I don't, you know, this is great. I want to help people, but I don't know how to continue to do that. And I didn't want to ignore people. Right. And so I had one person during this process say, can I hire you for three months to help me launch my subscription box? And I was like, yeah. And so I charged like this much money. Like it is, I can't even tell you because I would be embarrassed. I charged this much money. And in three months, she launched her subscription box and she came out of the gate with a hundred subscribers. And I was so proud. And I, that was something I didn't even do. It took me three months to get a hundred subscribers. So I'm like super proud. I'm feeling like it's my launch too. Like this is how it started. And so that happened over the summer in 2019. I was out at Tribe Live, um, otherwise known as TME. And um, I was in Toronto for the first time and I was with uh, some ladies that I had met through us taking your course. We had been work, we've been study buddies, like, okay, module one, what'd you guys get? Let me see your success path. Let me, let me see your worksheet. Then we were comparing notes, just like we were in college, like Heidi was saying, and Heidi was one of them. And um, I just said, I'm, I'm thinking about doing, you know, a coaching membership, but let, let's do it now. And like, they're pushing me, let's do it now. I'm like, do it now. No, I got to think about it for a while. I don't have anything set up. I didn't have assets built. I didn't have a place for anyone. I didn't even have a pay, a checkout, anything. Like, they're like, let's do it now while we're together. I was like, all right. So I went outside, fluffed my hair up, recorded a like two minute video that said, Hey, I'm doing this coaching. And if you're interested, I would love you to be a founding member of Launcher Box. And um, I don't have anything built yet. I don't have anything built yet, but I would love to build it with you. Use my years of subscription box expertise to help you get yours launched. Come join me. Um, it's $57 a month. And um, I sent it to every person that had ever DM'd me questions about starting a box. Right. So, and I don't remember how many people that was, how many people that was, but I just sent that video to them and then I had a PayPal link. I said, join here. And so, um, and I also, because I was at your event, I met some other people. I can see Donna Clark's here in the chat. I met Donna at that event. She was one of my founding members too, because I met her at the event because I was on stage that year with you. And um, anyway, 19 people said, heck yeah, let's do it. So here I am. I got a membership with 19 people in it for $57 a month. And I'll do the math for you. It was $1,083. I remember it like it was yesterday <laughs> because that was different for me. Mm. I've been hustling products for years. And anybody that's a product seller knows what that's like. Cost of goods, shipping, fulfillment. There is so many costs involved with you know, product selling now I had a thousand dollars a month of this digital money, like <laughs> out there in the world, this digital money. Right. And so I'm like, okay, let me see if I can make something of this because a thousand dollars a month, when I had 3000 subscribers over here, felt like a lot of work for a little amount of money. Right. Cause I had this, I had this million dollar subscription box business already hot up and hopping. And it was requiring a lot of my time. Um, but I needed to see, 
if this would work for me. So I gave it a few months and I just put everybody in a Facebook group. I said, I got nothing for you. We're going to do this together. Tell me what you need. <laughs> and I would go live and I would train them and I would give them resources and I created worksheets. And then um, I was getting ready to do my official launch. So this was about five months later. I worked with them for about five months. Those 19 people figured out what they needed. And by the way, what they needed is not what I thought they needed. Mm. If you, in your mind, think that you have to have it all planned out before you launch the dang membership, it might change everything when you actually get the people in. And that's what it did for me. I thought they needed this, but as I got into it with them, I realized we needed to back up a few more steps. Mm -hmm. And so if I would have created my whole membership around my thoughts of what they needed, I would have had to scratch it and start over. And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful that I didn't, I didn't worry about putting it all together and having a pretty packaged membership to deliver to someone. I figured out what they needed. I asked questions. I listened to their questions as I went through training topics and I built what we call now our training library. And um, I did my official launch in um, March of the following year. So 2020, you know what happened March, 2020? <laughs> A little, a little thing. A week before my launch. Uh -huh. And I did it anyway. Mm. They encouraged me to do it anyway. And I did. And now I had 120 members, um, which paid me significantly more than the 19. And I was like, oh, this is the thing. I can do this. And so I kept getting better. I launched an official membership hub and got them recorded trainings and official things. And we still have the Facebook group. We still do now. Um, but I, I was getting a little bit more legit as I was going. I launched again in July. So from March to July, I was running lead magnets, opt-ins. I was really trying to grow. I was growing this audience from scratch. I was trying to build my social media. I launched again in July and now I had 504 members. Amazing. Um, yeah. And so I'm like, okay, we can do this. Let's go one more. Let's give it one more good launch before the end of 2020 and see where we end for the rest of the year. And you and I were together in September of that year. And I said, Stu, I want to make this like big. I want to make this big like my subscription box, right? I just don't know how to find more people, how to get more people in there. And you're just so flippant with your, your geniusness that you're like, well, how do you get more people in there? How, how, why would somebody want to join? That's what you said. Why would somebody want to join me? And I said, well, if they just hang out with me <laughs> for a couple days. They would see how much knowledge I have and they would totally want to join. And you just totally walked off and you said, well, how do you make that happen? <laughs> and I was just like, hang out with me for a few days. Okay. I'm going to create this thing called subscription box coaching week and went home. And in two weeks I put together subscription box coaching week. We launched it out in the world. I had 3000 people join me in subscription box coaching week. And I converted 42% of them to membership. And now I had 1700 members. My membership in 2020 went from 19 members in January to over 1700 members by October. And I was making $1,000 and eight, a thousand eighty three in January from my membership. And I was making $113,000 a month by October. And that's what's possible. Mm. That's what's possible. And you know, because you know me so well, that it's changed my whole life. It's mm. changed my whole life. Um, it's changed physical life, right? Where I live, um, the resources that I have, um, it's changed that life tremendously, but it's also changed me. Um, the confidence, the strong person that I am today was very, very quiet, very shy, very, just let me be a wallflower. I don't want to go live. Oh dear, sweet baby Jesus, don't make me go live again. Um, you know, and you, you just don't understand how you transform as a person when you have confidence and building a business brings so much confidence, especially if, I think for women. Um, 
not knowing if it's something you can do, not knowing if you have the guts, not knowing if you have thick enough skin to withstand, um, you know, online world. And, and, it, and it just pushes you in a way that you just never knew was inside of you. And I think that's what it's done for me. And here I have two multi-million dollar businesses that I get to employ over a dozen people. Um, and I, I have impacted over 4,000 students and I have the honor of impacting over 4,000 students. Some of them who have gone on to build million dollar subscription box businesses themselves. And um, I just feel incredibly honored to be a part of their journey too. Sarah, um, I wish you could see all the comments, but uh, there's so many great comments coming in uh, from people who are connecting with you, connecting with you know your journey. And I just want to just take a moment and acknowledge you because you know you, you mentioned like that you have changed. And when you and I met, you were that you know shy, timid. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I want everybody else to be front stage. I, I just want to make that contact with me. <laughs> and uh, it's just been so fun to watch your evolution uh, of you become you and really step into your amazingness. And then, um, and to see you build these incredible, you know, memberships and these incredible recurring revenue uh, businesses is truly inspiring for so many people in our community to see, as you said, where this can go and what it makes possible. So, now you've got these multi-million dollar businesses. Yeah. What advice would you give to somebody who's just like, oh my gosh, that is just like, that's like a, that's like a pipe dream right now. Yeah. Like I, I can't, I can't get there. Like they see you now and they're comparing your my now today to Everything. their now. And mm -hmm. it just seems so far away. What would you say to that? So let me take you back to 2018, Sarah. She was living paycheck to paycheck. Her house had flooded eight times in three years and she didn't know how she was going to pay for groceries or the mortgage or the car payment. And here was this opportunity to take a course, but it was a couple thousand dollars and that was huge. I had never spent that kind of money on little, I call it myself, but really my business, but it was really for both. And I was one of the people that waited till the last day, the last hour, because I kept talking myself in and out of it. Like, you can do this. No, you can't. You can do this. Is it worth the money? But here's what ultimately calmed me. I didn't know what I didn't know. I had this little boutique in a, in a military town. And if I was ever going to grow bigger, I had to figure out how to enter the online world. And I didn't know what I didn't know. I went to college and Facebook was brand new. Like we didn't have this when I was learning marketing. And so I took a leap of faith in myself. And I think that's what I would recommend to everybody. I know when I start something, I finish it. And I know that if I have help through something, like the way that Stu helps through this program, I'm going to ask questions and I'm going to participate and that's going to help me get the most out of it. And I know with that support that I will be able to finish it and I will be able to learn one thing. And I told myself I could just learn one thing um, out of this that I don't know because I didn't even know what to ask at that point. Then I'll make my money back and it's going to be okay. And I put it on a credit card. I didn't have $2,000 laying around. I put it on my credit card and I said, I'm going to work my tail off so that by the end of the course, I can make that $2,000 back. Mm -hmm. And I did. I put in the effort. I found a study group inside the group. Um, I showed up for, um, God, the what were the stew calls that were supposed to be like 10 minutes? 10 and 10. 10 and 10, yes. <laughs> and he would do these 10 and 10s. He would answer 10 questions in 10 minutes, but they were 10 <laughs> questions in two hours. And I would listen to them while I was making stuff in my shop all the time. I would put stew on and I would listen to it and I'd write notes. And had I not done that, I wouldn't be here today. And in that moment, I didn't have goals of this. I didn't know this existed. I just wanted to grow enough to pay my mortgage, to pay my car payment, to relieve some of the financial stress that was on my family. 
And also to have the freedom to stay home and not have to go work in corporate America anymore. Cause I had done that. My kids were little, I just wanted to be home more. And so that was the goal. So when you think about where I am today and you're like, well, I don't want that. Well, I didn't either. I didn't either. I'm so grateful for it now, but it just took taking that one step and then completing that step. And it's like, I don't know if it was, it was Bonnie, but it was, it's implementing. It's not learning all the things and then going back later and implement. It's okay. He just went through module one. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to go implement module one in my business. I'm going to start module one. I'm going to start the audience building. I'm going to start figuring this out and not just wait and take the whole course. And then I'll start fresh at the end. You've got to do it in the moment so that you can ask the questions to get you unstuck so that you can keep going. And if you're doing it with all the other people that are enrolled at the same time, that's what we did. We connected with people that were in the course at the same time. We did it together and we're lifelong friends now because of it. We've built our businesses together and we all have million dollar businesses. And that's the power of doing something together. You're not, it's not a done for you, do it on your own. Good luck. See you when I see you. It's, hey, you can go at your own pace. Here's all the information for you, but I'm going to help guide you along the way. And I've got this team of people that are guiding you through every step of the way. So you don't feel like you're out on an island by yourself. Well, I appreciate you taking us back to 2018, Sarah. Yeah. Uh, it's been beautiful to see the evolution of uh, that woman who had big dreams, didn't know exactly, you know, how to uh, execute on them and how to, you know, make it happen, but she has. And Sarah, I'm just, uh, I'm super stoked for you. Very proud of you. Uh, where can people go to uh, connect with you? Well, if you love cute monogram things, um, you can go over to framedbysarah.com and it's Sarah with an H. If you want to learn how to start, launch and grow your own subscription box, you can find me at launcherbox.com. I also have the Launcher Box podcast and of course, a brand new book called One Box at a Time, Amazon bestseller. You can find that too. So Sarah, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you. Bye guys. Cheers. Uh, amazing story. I can see the comments coming through just how we can all relate to different parts of uh, Sarah's story. I'm super grateful for our guests to come and share. We've got one more uh, that has an equally inspiring story as well. But one of the things I hope you're taking from this is that like sometimes we see, you know, stories like Sarah and we can get intimidated by it, but she's a real human being. She was where many of us start. And the key thing there is that she just made a decision. She made a decision that she would invest in herself and that she was going to surround herself with people who could get her closer and closer to her dreams. And that's why I want to encourage you to come join us for this year's membership experience, because this is exactly what we do is we hold your hand. We support you and guide you through the process of going from maybe an idea that feels fuzzy and unclear to getting the clarity of knowing exactly what that idea is going to be and, and what to put inside the membership and how to market that membership and how to attract new members and how to grow the membership and how to retain the members so that you can go from 19 founding members to thousands and thousands of members months later building a multi-million dollar business in less than nine months. That's exactly what Sarah did. And so it can happen because this has happened time and time again with people in our program. And I want to encourage you to come join us because now the registration is open. You can go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. You'll see all the information. It is open until tomorrow evening. That is Thursday, April 18th at midnight. Then we close it all down and then we shift gears as a team and we just focus on loving on you and serving you and helping you get your membership site off the ground. One thing I will say that's new this year is we've added two immersion days. And the whole focus of the immersion days is to guide you through the process of actually implementing the material. So, you know, we go through uh, a chunk of the material, then we pause and we say, okay, let's take a day and let's just implement this stuff. 
so that it's not just learning, it's actually learning and doing and therefore getting the results. So we care deeply about you putting this into practice, creating these amazing memberships and building an incredible business. Speaking of which, building an incredible business, our final guest today is a gentleman who uh, I love and adore because he cares deeply about his community. He's built an amazing community. He launched his membership on the back of a course because he had people coming through a course that were asking, hey, how do we get more? How do we stay connected? And so he didn't have everything perfect. He didn't have anything done. He didn't have anything created, but he offered a membership and an incredible number and percentage of those people said yes. And that is where it all began for the one and only Nicholas Wilton. Nick, how are you, buddy? Oh, so good. And it's so inspiring to listen to the stories that have just been shared. It is uh, so amazing because everybody has a different story, but they're all using the same ingredients and they're all being inspired to move forward with TME. It's it's really great to hear these. It gets me inspired. You know, I want to do well, all of those memberships. <laughs> well, uh, I appreciate you, buddy. And it's fun because um, I'm sure you, I mean, you've known Sarah for years as well uh, as part of our community, but it's always fun to hear some of the, you know, the details of the backstory, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so let's get into some of the details of your backstory because it's a fascinating one. Uh, but before we do that, who first is it that you serve in your market? Uh, well, we serve creatives. We serve, uh, in the beginning, it was artists looking to really up-level their art. And now we've grown to serving anyone who's really creatively curious. There's a big drive right now in the world to... Uh, learn about one's creativity. And so we're going into this into this market as well. Well, it's been absolutely amazing. By trade, you're you've been an artist pretty much your whole career. Am I right in that? Yeah, I've always I've always been a fine artist. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And I was actually telling my kids, I I thought I had it uh nearby, but um uh, one of the one of my favorite books, uh, you know, the, the four agreements, uh, I was telling them, I was showing them like Hey, Nicholas, like created this cover. Like it was, uh, it's amazing. So you've been in this incredible artist, you, and then you started helping other artists, as you said, up-level their art. And yeah. initially it uh, was solely just through a course. Can you kind of speak? To well, that it was, yeah, solely it was through live destination workshops um, for years teaching. And it's an approach to creativity and helping people. But then I, in 2000 and 13, 14, maybe. No, I was thinking it was 15. I brought it online. And um, and then we launched our course and uh, we had amazingly 200 people come, you know, and that's when, um, and then they wanted to continue, but I had nothing more for them. And that's when that, you know, your influence and stepping forward and saying, well, just describe to them <laughs> what you might do and and ask them for almost a vote of confidence. And we had about 80% of them, 90% of them say, yes, make us something and uh, founding member launch and, and off we went. But I will say, and it's an interesting thing that this founding member launch, this idea where you figure it out as you go, which I love, by the way, that suit, that's art making in a nutshell. It allows pe allow, you, you get your given confidence in a way because people say, you know, I just I like who you are. I think your idea is great. And here's twenty seven dollars a month. And, you know, you can promise to give it back to them if it doesn't work out. But the actual confidence is almost lent to you. Like it really mm -hmm. made me step it up. In other words, I'm like, wow, a hundred people really want to do this. 120 people really are here for this. And, and that got me going. That's what did it. it. I didn't even really feel that confident, but it was, it was the teaching from you and, and then how people showed up for me that eventually made it all possible. I remember that moment. Cause I remember that uh, you and I talked, we had a conversation and you're like, Stu, I'm on, you know, week, you know, the, like I only got two weeks left of the course. People are asking for more support. And we talked through that founding member launch. And then when you shared the results with me, it was amazing. You know, seeing, I think, I I believe, I know you just had just over 200 and you had over like 180 of them sign yeah. up at like 30 yeah. bucks a month, which was like $5,400 a month right out of the gate for that membership. 
Yeah. And uh, it was just like, and then you just did a beautiful job because you cast the vision, but then you just communicated with them. It's like, okay, amazing. Yeah. Here's what you can expect next. And you told them like when, you know, you would have things down the road, but like you didn't have anything created yet. It was just an idea. Yeah. And one of the principles that you teach so beautifully is that you gain the information as you go once you have people as a sounding board. I mean, we literally created this together. And I, and I think it's some it's a brilliant way to learn. Yes, you need to have kind of the principles and membership and all that. But it's really the people you serve that are best um, able to give you the information you need. It's what Sarah said. You know, I didn't know what I didn't know. And this whole thing has just been a journey of learning first for yourself, becoming the best version of yourself, but then also how to, you know, communicate that to yourself, but then also how to communicate to other people. So I just, mm -hmm. I love the unfolding. It just keeps me on the edge of my seat. And we, and we're, we're already iterating. We've now started a second membership and we're just, it's just rinse and repeat based on what's really enjoyable and exciting and what's working. Well, and that's where um, it all began. Let's talk about like uh, where it's evolved. You mentioned that you continue to iterate. You continue to make changes. You mentioned that you're now launching a second membership. So talk us through that journey. Where is your uh, one membership now and, and what does that second membership look like? Well, yeah, so we have a pretty uh, extensive program that really is for artists and, and it's really um, allowing them to create the work of their life. And, and we have a membership for them and the content, the vocabulary they're using, they're all kind of pretty far along. And, you know, many of the people that came in 2016 are still with us. So this membership now, I think we're about 2000, it'll probably be about 2800 um, once the new members come in, because we only open it once a year. Um, and that's a, that's an audience, right? And, and we're good at this and we've learned and we're continuing. And it's really great because it it's pushing me to learn new things. It's I'm sharing with them as I'm improving in, as an artist, I'm sharing what I'm learning, but also I have coaches in there and, you know, so it's kind of grown. But the new area of the business is for all those people who are just interested, who have never thought of themselves as artists. And Art to Life really believes and proves that anyone who's interested can be an artist. And, you know, that's what we're, we're, we're really teaching now. And we have a new membership um, for those people where we're just basically getting together and making art. And it is so much fun, you know, making art with friends, basically. And that's our, <laughs> that's our membership. So I'm going to be painting this afternoon and I'm just making art and I'm just going to go into my community and, and there's people to talk to while we're making it. So it's just being there with people and let's let's do this journey together. And, th and that's enough for an amazing um, building of a membership. So I'm really excited about it because this, this part of the business is, is truly uh, scalable. This, there's yeah. a big demand for creativity in the world right now. There's a big demand for, for all of you listening, you know, coming out with the internet makes it possible for you to share what you're interested in. If you're interested in it, you're passionate about it. And, and that qualifies you, you know, that's the thing. It's like, you can always teach people your own way. There's such a demand for this. And really but that's what it's been, uh, you know, it's been super fun to see that evolution and, and the business that you've built, which is incredible. You know, uh, one of the things that, I love about uh, our community is just seeing all the incredible artists thrive. You've definitely, you're, you've one of, you're one of the originals, uh, you know, to really serve as a source of inspiration for so many artists to see that, Hey, you can build an incredible business around your art. And a membership is, has been a, a phenomenal vehicle to help so many artists do that. Um, I'm going to wrap up here sh uh, shortly, but I want to ask you, you've been part of this community for years, Nicholas. Like, why do you stay plugged in? Why do you keep coming back? And what would you recommend for people who are considering the membership experience? You know, it is, it's, it is learning. It's all about growth and it's all about learning. And, and, and it changes, you know, and Stu, what, the level you're teaching now, you know, you're the same. You've just gotten better and better and better. And you're teaching... You're teaching, it's about humanity. It's about learning how to be with yourself and learning how to connect with other people. And, and this is something we're all improving at, but that's why I come back. 
always and stay connected to it. You know, I used to do everything myself and, and I, you know, and I really suffered. I really held myself back. But, you know, what you can do in TME is actually, you know, we look at like, you know, where we're here, where, here I am now and I dream about being in this really amazing place. But that's inspiring. But what I want to just drop here, the idea is that you can get this going and it actually can be pretty enjoyable. Like you want, you can't wait for when you enter you know, your first launch, maybe you get 12 people, you will never forget that day. And you know, you want to do each of these milestones and savor it. It's the journey of becoming that TME is taking you on. And the beginning is almost more exciting than where I'm at now. It's like, it is so cool. Each piece of this is so cool. And, and you really celebrate that and, and show us how to do this in a way that's it's doable, but it's also like, it's pretty, it's pretty darn fun. So, and it, and it gives you energy and it builds your confidence so you can do more and more and more. Well, Nick, uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you for sharing. Where can people go to connect with you? Um, everything is pretty much centered at art with the number two life, art2life.com. You know, we have a podcast, we have a vlog, we have all kinds of courses and memberships. So check, check that out there. Amazing. Okay, final question for you, Nicholas. What advice uh, would you have for somebody who has been thinking about that membership, but they just haven't taken that next step to make it happen? I'll say the same, it's the same thing I teach artists, right? We can talk about making something and we can envision, oh, what would I like to create in the world? What would I like to make? What would my paintings be like? What would my art be like? But that actually, that thinking doesn't work. The thinking that works is when you actually put a mark down, when you get in motion, as soon as the paintbrush or whatever tool you're using hits the canvas, then the brain starts working and you're, you get in motion. You can't figure this out without getting in motion. The answers come by doing. And the easiest, I mean, the easiest way and the most simple way and the clear way is to be guided. You know, TME provides that so you can just get in motion and then the answers come. I, I do not try to do this alone. Do not try and do this alone. I wasted way too many years and it's expensive to go in the wrong direction. And it, it lowers your self-esteem. It's a bummer to like miss Q in this because it's very public, right? You want to get it right and you want to do it in a way that is enjoyable. And, um, you know, and that's, that's what you've provided for me and all the guests tonight. But what, what you're doing um, is, is just a wonderful service. It's so fun. Well, Nicholas, thank you so much. There's a lot of great uh, comments and feedback coming on. I'm not sure who uh, specifically said this one, but just talking about getting in motion and the answers yeah. will come. And yeah. uh, I'm super grateful for you sharing. What a huge congratulations to you though, just seeing your evolution as an artist, as a businessman, as a membership site owner, the community that you serve. Uh, it's been incredible to watch it go from, you know, that initial founding member launch to now thousands of members. I love seeing the fact that you're launching now a second membership, reaching you know so many more people. Uh, thank you so much for coming in and inspiring. Absolutely. Anytime. Thanks, Stu. Uh, absolutely incredible, these stories, right? And it just is a great example of what's possible. You know, and as Nicholas said, you know, the best next step that you can take is to actually start doing something. You can't think your way to success if you don't actually do something. And that's why I want to encourage you to make the next thing that you do the step to come and join us for the membership experience. You can see the link here on the screen, membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. This is where we walk you through the process of going from a fuzzy idea of a member for a membership all the way to getting the clarity to actually like starting to create it, to launching it, welcoming those first founding members and seeing the payments come through. And you, you heard about the, the joy of that first month of rebills and the stability and predictability that that creates in your life. It can happen and will happen for you, but you got to take that next right step. And that next step is to come join us for the membership experience. Just go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. Now I can see in the chat that there are uh, a number of questions. So let me just quickly 
uh, speak to some of those questions. Uh, looks like, let me see here. Uh, the So Alicia said, what's the link to register for the course? You saw it there right on the screen, Alicia, membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. Uh, Candace said, when are the immersion days roughly? Uh, basically, Candace, we uh, essentially cover like two modules of content and then we have an immersion day. And then there's another, a second immersion day, I think three modules later. So it's usually like two weeks and then another uh, two to three weeks after that is when we have those immersion days. Um, let's see here. Uh, I see some questions of, from people asking about the tech and do we help support in that? For sure. I mean, like uh, we're going to talk about different tech solutions. We will uh, guide you in terms of which tech solution is going to be right. I will say off the hand, uh, off the bat, that I'm incredibly biased about the tech because we also have a tech solution that uh, supports membership site owners. But even above that recommendation, I am most biased to a tech solution that is going to be simple and easy for you to be able to take action on today. Sometimes that means even simplifying it down to the bare nuts and bolts like Cheryl Hatch. She didn't like tech. She was freaked out about tech, but she definitely wanted to start a membership and she has one helping women launch preschools. And so she kept it super simple in the beginning. She didn't have a members area, didn't get on any type of membership platform. She just delivered the content via email. That's what she was most comfortable with. She did that for two years, welcoming more than 600 paying members before she ever created a members area. So you can keep it simple if you let yourself keep it simple. Um, okay, a couple other questions. Um, I think that pretty much... Uh, helps answer. Uh, okay. Um, Gladiator Web Design said, can you share a schedule for the coaching calls? Uh, they are all different times all throughout the week uh, with specific intent for accommodating as many time zones as possible. The content itself is uh, delivered via video in a self-study format. So you can watch it and consume it at your own pace at your own time. The live mentor calls are there as a additional support mechanism. So if you want to get additional support from the TME mentors, which by the way, are students who have come through the program who are also running six and seven figure memberships. So these are established membership site owners to be able to speak from experience, to bring different perspectives. They are scheduled all throughout the week at different times throughout the day to be able to accommodate for as many people as possible. So um, you'll see the schedule once you register. Um, Linda, thank you for that. Linda said, I love all the stories. Awesome. Uh, thank you for that. And let me see here. Do, do, do. Um, somebody just said, hey, Stu, we have a membership with 490 members that generate six-figure revenue. Can your course help us to grow? Uh, whoever that is, the answer is 1,000% yes. Because here's the thing, if all I do is just help give you, you know, one idea that helps you welcome, you know, a handful of members, if you just do the math on that, given that you've already got a, a membership, what a handful of members would mean, not just this month, but over the course of the year, it begins to compound. And that's just thinking if that's you, all you do is just get one idea. The reality of it is, is you're going to get so many different ideas that will exponentially grow the membership. You heard Bonnie talk about it earlier. When she came into the program, her membership was doing about $20,000 a month. So that's a pretty significant uh, membership at that point. But right away, she came and reworked the membership using the principles of what we talked about. Today, that is a $90,000 a month membership. That's a significant leap in membership revenue. And I share that because many times with a membership, it's the small tweaks that can have a massive compounding difference. So if you've already got a established membership, you're going to be able to apply the principles of what we teach immediately and see results. So with that, friends, I want to encourage you, come join us. Go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. Speaking of the registration period, it closes uh, on Thursday, April 18th at midnight. And if history is an indicator, we only open this program one 
time a year. And this is it. So make sure you come and register. There are all different kinds of payment options as well. Also on checkout, you can pay with PayPal. There's also an option there if you choose to uh, explore PayPal credit, which enables you to break it into even more payments with 0% interest. That's all done through PayPal. That's not done through us, but that is an option uh, to be able to pay for the program as well. So you'll see all the details. Just go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. All of the details of the program, the modules, the price, and the details for what's included, as well as all of the bonuses that are included. All the details of that you can find at membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. I just want to leave you this one final thought, and that is this. Many times we have ideas. We get excited by those ideas. And we want to just wait until we take action on the idea, idea because we want everything to be perfect, right? Because we want to give ourselves, quote, the best chance of success. But the reality of it is, is that there's never a perfect time. There's only the now. And so much can happen in such a short period of time. You heard from the guests today, many of them didn't have anything perfect. They just launched with what they had and they made it a success because they learned from their members. And this is one of the principles that we talk about all the time. I would never recommend that you go and create a whole bunch of content for a membership before you've got any founding members, because the reality of it is, is that it is going to change so much. Sarah spoke to that. Of those 19 founding members that she welcomed, she said she learned so much about what they truly wanted and actually had to back it up in order to be able to support them on this journey. And that's why with a membership, you do not want to wait. The best thing that you can do is to get started early because one of two things is going to happen. Number one, you're either going to win and experience success and welcoming founding members. Or number two, you're going to learn. You're going to learn that what your idea initially was isn't resonating with your audience or it's not landing or it needs some tweaks and changes. And what better information to find out before you go and create a whole bunch of stuff versus creating a whole bunch of stuff and then finding out it's not what your audience wanted. So this is why we walk you through this process from a founding member launch to relaunching to growing and scaling like so many of our guests did here today, going from a few founding members to hundreds to thousands of members to multi-million dollar memberships. I can't promise that it's going to happen instantaneously overnight, but if our guests here are an example, it shows that it can happen when you just take that next right step, and that is to come join us for the membership experience. Just go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash and roll. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me here today. I hope you were inspired and I hope to see you inside the program. Go to membershipworkshop.com forward slash enroll. We'll see everybody. Bye-bye.